In this video we share Medjugorje Visionary Vitska and a vision of the suffering Christ. Visionary Vitska says, we are all Our Lady's children. When she gives us a message, she gives it for the whole world, for everyone who wants to be a child of Our Lady. Vitska, tell us what are the main messages of Our Lady. It is never enough or too much to repeat Our Lady's messages. Our Lady's main messages are prayer, conversion, fasting, penance and peace. When Our Lady says to pray, she is not asking us to pray only with words. She asks that we open our hearts day by day so that prayer would truly be a joy for us. Our Lady explained it with a wonderful example. She says, you all have one pot of flowers in your families. If you put two or three drops of water in that container every day, you will see how the flowers grow, develop and in the end a beautiful rose will grow. It's the same with our heart, if we put two or three drops, words, of prayer in our heart every day, it grows and develops like that flower. But if we don't put a drop of water in that container for two or three days, we will see it disappear as if it never existed. Our Lady says that we too, many times, when it comes time to pray, say, I can't pray today, I'm tired, I will tomorrow, and so tomorrow comes, and the day after tomorrow. If we do not pray, the bad side enters our heart. Our Lady says, just as a flower cannot do without water, so we cannot do without the grace of God. The prayer of the heart can never be learned by studying, we can only live the prayer of the heart, day by day to take a step forward. When Our Lady recommends fasting, she does not ask the sick to fast on bread and water, but to give up something that is dear to them, and people who are healthy and say that they cannot fast because they have a headache and are sick, do not have a strong will. Our Lady says that if we fast out of love for Jesus and her, then there will be no problems, because the only thing we lack, is a strong will. When it comes to peace, Our Lady herself said, I am the Queen of Peace and I have come to bring peace. But she didn't just come to bring peace to the world, she came to first bring peace to our hearts, peace to our families. When we have that peace, only then can we pray for peace in the world. Next, Our Lady calls us to complete conversion. She says that all of us, when we are in problems, troubles and difficulties, always think that she and Jesus are far from us, which is not true. We need to open our hearts so that we can realize how much Our Lady loves us. In a special way, she points out that Our Lady puts the Mass first and that it is the most important and holiest moment, because then Jesus comes alive and we receive him into our hearts. We need to prepare ourselves in prayer so that we can receive Jesus with as much dignity and love as possible. What amazes you the most about Our Lady? I wouldn't be able to single out anything because every meeting with Our Lady amazes me as if it were the first time. I'm never looking for anything special. But if we are already talking about some details, then I can say that it is magnificent to see Our Lady at Christmas when she appears with baby Jesus in her arms. A few years ago, she came with the big Jesus on Good Friday. He was covered in wounds, in torn clothes and with a crown of thorns on his head. Our Lady said, I came so that you can see how much Jesus suffered for all of us, so we saw him when he was little and in moments of suffering, that is, dying. I single this out because it is about Jesus, and as for Our Lady, I could not single anything out, because her entire presentation is simply magnificent, says Vicar. Describe the appearance and mood of the Queen of Peace. Every time before Our Lady comes, we see light three times, which is a sign that she is coming. When she appears, we see her in a grey dress, she has a white veil, a crown of stars on her head, her eyes are blue, her hair is black, her cheekbones are ruddy, and she is floating in the air on a grey cloud, so she does not stand on the ground. And when there are bigger celebrations, for example for Easter, Christmas or Our Lady's birthday, she wears a dress made of gold. Is Our Lady a woman from the distant past or from our time? I perceive her as a person from our time, as if she lives in this time. What impressed you most during the apparition? Maybe the fact that you have the feeling that you are no longer on the ground, as if you are floating in the air. Vitska, Our Lady told you about her life. Can you tell something about her life? Our Lady told me her whole life, from birth to her assumption. 
I could not say anything about it at the moment, because it has not been approved. Our Lady's entire biography was written in three notebooks, in which I wrote down what Our Lady told me. Sometimes I would write one page, sometimes two, and sometimes only half a page, depending on how much I could remember. You witness Our Lady's message almost every day. What do you recommend to people in our parish and pilgrims? I do not recommend anything from myself, nothing from my head. I recommend Our Lady's message, but not mine. Always when I talk to someone, I point out what my advice is, I warn that it is mine and not Our Lady's, so that there would be no confusion. What Our Lady says, I emphasize. However, people often get it wrong. I have no need to speak my mind when I have what is more important, what we are all told. Our Lady's messages, which she gives on the 25th of the month, always begin with dear children. Who are her children, the seers or all people? All. All of us who want to accept Our Lady's message. We are all her children. When she gives us a message, she gives it for the whole world, for everyone who wants to be a child of Our Lady. And we, visionaries, are certainly with some mistakes, nobody has perfection. The most important thing is when a person wants to change, move forward, help others. The most important thing is to live Our Lady's message. If I will not live it, then what will I tell others? When you want to live Our Lady's message, when you want to change, when you build it in your heart, then you can also speak to others. As long as you don't do anything, you can remain silent, says Visionary Vitska. Please support my channel by watching another video. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.